The current debate offers every single one of us in Scotland the chance to look at every single aspect of our country and ask a simple question. Does it have to be like this? What's the Scottish Government planning to do now to mitigate the impact, the gendered impact of welfare reform on women in Scotland and particularly on women who face multiple disadvantages such as refugee women or disabled women? I'm absolutely delighted to be here listening to some of the fantastic views and ideas and opinions that are coming out of the conference. I guess Scotland has to kind of make a decision on where they're going this year. And I think it's really, really important to know where women fit into that. We're lucky to hear from Professor Kirsten Rummery. I will let her take the platform. We are facing what I call a perfect storm. We've got a crisis in the funding and the delivery of long-term care. We have cuts in welfare spending, benefits, housing and in social care that are impacting hugely on disabled people and on carers. And at the same time, we've got a crisis in the union. We have a referendum and a unique window of opportunity. Does independence offer the right conditions for a fairer, more caring Scotland? I think what struck me firstly was that social policy could be interesting and she made it interesting because I think it is a very dry uh, subject. The dialogue around the independence debate has been completely lacking in any gender focus and the sooner that is introduced and then the better. Still they're arguing about whether Shell's going to move south, whether we're going to have Trident, whether we're going to have the pound. They're not arguing about whether an independent Scotland would mean more effective, more efficient and fairer care policies. But that is what matters to an awful lot of us. Scottish society is worried about childcare and long-term care. It's something which we intrinsically know makes the difference, but it's something that gets taken out of male agendas because the agenda is controlled by men. Women are having to pick up and be that reserve army of, of labour, if you like. Um, in care provision as services are withdrawn. I mean, I'm the same. I usually go and see my old auntie on a Friday. I'm her carer and I've got grandchildren to pick up from school, so I'm an unpaid carer. <laughs> my son has a disability and I do feel that if a man was to go in and do what I do, caring for that, he really would expect some type of acknowledgement for it. And it's definitely a role that is traditionally left to the women, isn't it? I think women's unpaid work and the, the fact that it's not counted towards um, any sort of economic contribution um, is, has a huge impact on gender inequality. Most gender equal societies tend to follow the Nordic social democratic route. Strong welfare states with the right to care, particularly childcare and gender equality, embedded within their constitutions. If we had a written constitution, we could, as Finland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden and Estonia have done embed a right to childcare in the constitution. I think there's going to be a long time before it's, it's, it's a shared task between men and women. Where are the men? You know, come on, it has to be 50% of balance. Care uh, policy um, element is extremely important if uh, we are to achieve a, a more gender equal country, definitely. Men, I often find, find the concept of feminism alienating. Whereas I think if we start exploring feminism with women and create a more equal ground, I think then everybody will get the same opportunities. We don't have to keep up that fight because we're a long way from achieving 50-50 yet. Would an independent Scotland veer towards the right? Would it be, become very neoliberal, marketised and adopt policies that are not about social fairness and justice and equality? It could very easily. I thought it was an excellent presentation. It is the first completely comparative analysis of the situation in various European countries. Something like the Scandinavian countries where the government is prepared to actually put money into childcare is extremely important. I hadn't realised that uh, Holland was so far ahead of the, of the UK in their policies. I think we need to get the care stuff Sorted. The white paper creates some of the conditions I would argue are necessary to achieve a fairer nation, but these on their own will not be sufficient. I don't think we'll get gender equality in this country until we have a fair share of the caring responsibilities. Mm -hmm.